Today, I'm gonna to take you to an amazing place we often refer to as Old Florida, a place untouched by man and unchanged by time, overloaded with amazing wildlife. If you'd like to join me on an adventure like this in real life, you can do that. I offer photography workshops where I teach you how to capture amazing images and video with your camera in locations just like this. So let me show you what is almost in my backyard. This is Old Florida. Come on, let's go. Florida in spring easily one of the best times to be in the Sunshine State. And it's no coincidence that this is also the best time for bird photography in and around the water. You can find families of ospreys eagerly awaiting the rising sun and some much needed breakfast. You can find the laughable limpkin rooting around for a clam in the smelly mud banks. <laughs> Yummy the gangly yet extremely elegant runway model of the bird world, the black neck stilt. The flashy pink bird of the swamp, often mistaken for a flamingo by tourists, the roseate spoonbill. This one is sorting through some vegetation for its nest. But we are here to capture this. That magnificent angler of the sky, simply known as the osprey. Bathed in that glorious light, this amazing bird has just snatched itself some good old breakfast sushi. And right behind the osprey, a Caspian tern tries its luck, but its catch is just too much for the bird. But another osprey has seen the struggle from above and it decides to dip its toes into the water and snatch that fish right from the surface. These birds are doing great. Let's slow things down and get a closer look at these birds with the magic of photography. Absolutely amazing. Take a look at those talons. Eight razor sharp meat hooks waiting to sink their way into some poor unsuspecting fish. Ospreys can actually rotate one of their three front talons backwards, helping them get a much better grip on their prey. This bird never takes its eyes off of the prize, complete and total focus, or as I like to say, unbridled determination. We can actually learn a lot from these birds. And with so many breeding birds in the area, it isn't long until another osprey comes out of the sky grabs a fish from the shallows and heads back to the nest to feed its family. This location is prime nesting habitat for many birds in the area, especially these black neck stilts. And while they may seem gracious, beautiful and elegant, they are fiercely territorial and it isn't long until a fight breaks out. And when it comes to defending prime nesting habitat, these long-legged beauties quickly transform into tactful mid-air assassins ready to skewer their opponent like a barbecue shish kebab. It's a no holds barred brawl as two of the stilts lock beaks and tumble their way through the thick black mud of the swamp. This entire fight happened in a flash. Slowing things down a bit gives us a front row seat to all of the crazy action and these birds try their best to destroy each other. And while all that was going on, a great egret was busy getting some breakfast. The calm, clear conditions provide some extremely beautiful and unique shots as the bird's reflection is mirrored onto the surface of the water. I don't normally see this type of bird take fish while in flight, but this one sure did. And the stilts are still going at it. Let's get some pics of the fight. As you can plainly see, these birds are at each other's throats. Who knew a muddy strip of exposed bank would be so popular? They also don't have any problems hitting below the belt. This is the very definition of an ankle biter. And there is always a show off in the bunch. The one that just wants to show everyone how beautiful its wingspan is. And on the opposite side of the coin, you have the aggressive one coming in with a skewer of death. The fight eventually ended with the defending birds taking a little celebratory bath. No bubbles here, 
just tiny little droplets of water that roll right off the bird's back, much like the entire confrontation that just happened. Life goes on. Back at the nest, and the female osprey is busy scanning the skies for her mate. These little hungry mouths aren't going to feed themselves. Let's see what's happening back at the lake. And when all of the elements fall into place and the sun smiles down on you, you get to experience these birds in a whole new light. Look at those razor sharp talons and check out the mud on the bottom of this bird's toes. It looks like it's been playing in the mud banks too. The osprey's abilities are unparalleled and their strength, tenacity, and determination are impressive traits that have helped these birds survive and something I admire in them greatly. I said this earlier, but I think we as humans can learn a lot from these birds. Their constant stream of seemingly impossible, highly impressive feats are inspiring to say the least. I'm just glad I'm not a fish. Let's check back with the nest and see what's going on. Breakfast has arrived in the form of a largemouth bass. Talk about fresh fish. Mom now has the job of quickly ending the fish's life before its tail can send one of the chicks flying out of the nest. Something tells me she's done this before. Back down on the water, and a great blue heron is finishing off a tasty snack. while hordes of dragonflies sweep the skies eating mosquitoes. Back up at the nest, and it's feeding time for these little ones. With a delicate precision, the female osprey sorts through the best parts of the fish, one tasty morsel at a time. Apparently, that piece was hers. Back out in the swamp, and this overachieving Rosie with a massive tree branch is ready to build a small log cabin somewhere in the trees. While this Anhinga tosses a fish back like buttered popcorn. Back at the nest, and dad has decided everyone has had enough fish So he slowly, and very cautiously, tries to take what's left of the fish. Once secured, Dad heads off to his favorite perch to enjoy a nice sunset dinner. And as that brilliant golden light filters its way through the ancient cypress trees adorned with Spanish moss, the satisfied osprey chick watches that blazing ball of fire descend below the horizon. Hey, thanks for sticking around. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, share it, comment, like it, all that good stuff. If you had a favorite part in the video, please let me know. I love reading what you liked the most about the video. Just leave it in the uh, comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. Um, I'm getting ready to go on an epic adventure to the west and then to the north. I'm gonna go all over the place and I'll be capturing amazing stuff to bring back and share it with you. Um, so until next time, I'll see you later.